I can't stand seeing the LCD just attract all this dust. It drives me absolutely bonkers, guys. But we're just gonna have to start this little project. I tried to save this iMac. I lost it. The logic board, we had something burn out and yeah, I'm just piecing it out. But I am gonna try and save this actual LCD. This is just literally what this computer was about. Yeah, so we're gonna take out the LCD and see what we can do. So guys, um, we set this up real quick and Outlook is looking pretty good. We have the monitor connected and we're gonna try and power it. Oh my gosh, no signal. Outlook is looking very good, boys. All right, guys. This is the big test. So we got hooked up, HDMI, let's see. Turned it on. It's a go, lads. And all we gotta do is patch it up. And guys, so as you can see, I got it rigged up real nice. It's tight. And this is just kind of a little sample. I already have the cords pre-plugged in. I just want to make sure it's gonna kind of you know, work for an extended period of time and uh, test it out before we solidify everything. But this is gonna be the general layout. We're gonna rotate this down 90 degrees. Right now I got the buttons just kind of hanging here. Again, just to try it out, make sure it can work. So we're gonna probably have them up, just hidden right in there. Proper moment of truth here. We're gonna turn this on. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh. Goodness, it works in the actual housing. There it is, guys. Oh, this is the next level. 1440p, back from the dead. All right, guys, we're back in effect, and uh, we've changed it up a little bit. We ended up getting another power supply. This is a 12-volt, 10-amp. Um, it's just because the original one we had was only 1.5 amp and it was really burning. But we got this guy in the, the iMac case and we've wired it up to actually use the power button. So if you check this behind here, the original power button, I'm going to give that a quick little push. And then there we go. We're still going to be able to use that. And not only that, we wired it up. So we're gonna use the original power cord as well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. I think we're gonna be able to get these speakers wired up as well. Yeah, this project's coming together. We'll touch back in, uh, in a bit. So guys, just a quick little update. We've got the power supply wired up. And we've got uh, basically the screen working. If you can see here, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, 1440p and it's basically a matter of just kind of I think I can get the audio hooked up but I'm gonna need some extra cords I need a little connector uh, and then I can get this guy the right speaker and this guy the left speaker wired up so but I'm just really blown away by the quality of the screen all right guys, we're back and we've got basically everything stashed away. Uh, power supply locked in place, wired up to the original plug. All that's left is really the left speaker, which I have ready to go, the power switch, which I have ready to go, and the right speaker, which I have ready to go. And everything else is basically secure. I only have one screw. But I mean, once you set up a monitor, how often do you move it? Just gotta be extra careful. Yeah, it was looking pretty darn ghetto, to be honest. But once uh, we get the screen back in there and the glass on top, and the other thing, we've got our connectors down here, DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. I don't really have a good way to access these. 
as you can see I only really have the the RAM slot but I'm hoping I can get you know mini kind of extensions or right angle connectors that will just kind of have enough room to kind of fit out down here and it will just kind of hang and it will look sort of ghetto but it's just the easiest thing to do as opposed to kind of cutting up the aluminum I was originally thinking of kind of widening these ports and uh, I just didn't want to get into that so we're gonna have this kind of little ghetto thing going on where the wire just comes up through here yeah all together I'm very happy how it turned out I'm very happy with the quality I'm glad we got to bring it back okay new update guys we got the speakers working sort of so I'm running the movie we got it going through HDMI here and it's a little fidgety my connections uh, could be better I really make shifted something with these individual uh, connector pieces but I think I'm gonna hold out for an actual something like this because it's uh, it's just too jittery I might have to end it here until we get that next piece um, but yeah, things are going really good, it's coming together, and that's how we roll.